Hey, I'm here today to talk a little bit about Meograph. Meograph allows you to put your photos, your videos, your audio, your music, your text, all kind of into your own, what they call a Meograph. Uh, Meograph, for the most part, I think has been built for business, um, but totally can go ahead and work for education. I'll hopefully talk a little bit about to you, or talk to you a little bit about why I think it could totally be used for education. Um, let me just show you how this works. Um, you're gonna start by going up here to the upper right hand corner to click try. You can go ahead and sign up or log in as well and that will kind of save all your Meographs um, together. You start by clicking um, create a Meograph and uh, that will start your Meograph. Um, I start by going ahead and adding a title, um, and then what you do is to create Meographs, you add moment or moments, um, and by doing that, it kind of gives you um, a slot to either put your pictures, your videos, so on and so forth, okay? Um, the first thing you'll see is the introduction slide. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the cover photo by clicking the um, pencil up here in the upper left hand corner. I already have a title slide so I'm going to go ahead and click that and I'm going to have that um, saved. As that's loading I can go ahead and start um, creating my first moment or moments. Um, in a moment, it gives you the option of either uploading a photo or getting a photo online, um, a video, adding narration or audio over top of the photo or video. It also allows you to go ahead and put text or links on top of the photo as well. Um, let me just go ahead and get a photo offline. Um, as you can see, your options are you either using your computer or, like I said, Instagram, Facebook, or online. It uses Google search, so I'm just going to go ahead and type the word cats because my video is about cats. Um, and I'll pick the first cute pet, uh, cat photo that I see. I'm going to go ahead and upload that, and it's going to process it. It allows you to do a little bit of um, tweaking to your photo. So, for example, you can make it bigger uh, if you really want to zoom in on the cat's face, for example, or very small. Um, you can go ahead and rotate it or click the reset button, and it'll put it back to its original um, size. Um, I'm going to add some text to the photo, um, so I can go ahead and say cat photo, maybe. Um, and that will put the um, text to the upper left hand corner. I can even add a link, say for example a website that I found useful uh, having information about cats. For example like this Wikipedia page on cats. Um, all the information you'd ever want to know. I could copy and paste that URL um, to this link box here and it will put the link information in the lower right hand corner. Um, when I'm done with that moment, I can go ahead and click another um, empty moment that I've created by clicking the add a moment button. And I could maybe even add a YouTube video. Now unfortunately you cannot go ahead and upload your own videos, mainly I think they're trying to save server space on Meograph's website, but um, you can go ahead and get any of the um, videos available on YouTube. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and select Epic Funny Cats 20 Minutes because there's nothing better than watching 20 minutes of cat videos. Um, and uh, you can go ahead and preview that here and or hit select if you know that that's the video you'd like. What this is, what Meograph does make pretty easy is you can go ahead then and select what part of the video um, you'd like to show in your Meograph. You can hit the preview clip button um, or even um, add narration to the video as well. Okay. Um, now I'm done with that, so let, let me go back to this cat photo. Um, say for example the, the cat photo you need to explain something. Um, you can add narration to any one of your moments by clicking the narration tab. Um, all you need is a mic hooked up to your computer or the internal microphone on your laptop and you can go ahead and easily um, add your own narrations. I'm going to do that by clicking the record button and it'll give you a quick countdown and I can say something like this. Hey, this is a cat. This is a photo of a cat. It's on his back. And then I can go ahead and hit stop. It'll go ahead and upload that over top of the photo um, and you'll see that when you play back the video. You can go ahead and preview um, by clicking the play button, what you just recorded, or you can hit the uh, trash can and just get rid of the recording altogether and retry it or upload your own from your computer. Maybe you've recorded some um, other audio on another program that you would like to incorporate as well. Um, say for example you'd like to get rid of one of the moments, um, you can go over here to video, like the video that I just um, uploaded the cats, maybe I don't want to add that video, I can go ahead and um, delete it by using that button. 
um, and you can go ahead and keep tweaking it until you get a video that kind of works for you. Now, um, when you are done, you can add a description down here, or you can go ahead and add music um, to your Meograph as well. I already have one on my computer. Um, it's going to go ahead and load that out for me. When you are done kind of creating your Meograph, or maybe like while you're creating your Meograph, um, and you'd like to kind of make sure that everything's looking good, you can always click the play button in the upper right hand corner and that will play back um, what you have so far in your Meograph so you can go ahead and see if you like it or not. Now that the, the audio is, or music is going ahead and um, update or uploaded, um, let's just go ahead and take a look at my video so far. So like you see the... Hey, this is a cat. This is a photo of a cat. It's on. Sorry. So like you see, um, you can go ahead and see that the, 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 the music's already up there, perfectly edited for me. Um, my voice kind of cut on and the, the audio kind of dipped. So all that kind of hard stuff that you would have in creating videos kind of taken away that Meograph kind of handles that um, for you. Um, now, Meograph, like I said... Um, is for businesses or intended for businesses, but I could totally see this being used um, in the education field as well. Um, the fact that it's free and it's an online tool um, and the fact that students can get on here and create um, research projects or tutorial videos for their classes, whether it be a social studies class or a mathematics class or even an English class, um, maybe even have book reviews, um, you could do a lot with um, this um, program. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Again, that was just a quick tutorial on how to use Meograph. Again, I have pulled up Meograph's how-to guide, um, and there's a lot of YouTube videos already out there on tutorials on Meograph. You can check those out if you would um, like to see a little bit more advanced tutorial on Meograph. Um, hopefully this helps. Um, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.